how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking in Google Tag Manager. Good day folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can take your Google Ads and you can set up the ads conversion tracking using the Google Tag Manager. So let's jump straight in. The first thing you want to do is have your Google Ads account set up and you are going to be faced with a page that looks like this. So we're going to go up in the top of this page you will see that there is a toolbar and if this looks slightly different than you're using an alternative appearance you can just go up and look for your appearance tab and you can change that if not you'll find everything on the left hand side so you're going to go in and you're going to tap on tools and settings and the first thing we want to do here is look for conversions we're going to tap on the conversions tab now once we are here in the conversions tab you can now create a new conversion action so down at the bottom there is a big blue button and we're going to go ahead and tap on that new conversion action right over here you will be able to start tracking your conversions by choosing the type of conversions you'd like to track so of course if you're looking um, to track conversions on your website you're going to choose the first one if you're looking in your app you can do so if you're trying to track phone calls or um, ads from your website and then you can just import data from Google Analytics or another source on the last option. What we're going to do now is going to go into the website option and right over here we will have to put in our domain name. So if you just tap over there you can type it in and that is the domain name that I'm using. You're going to go ahead and now you're going to tap on scan and it'll just double check that the website domain is actually correct and it is in the correct format. You can go down now and you can see that there is a create conversion action manually using code. So we're going to go ahead now and the plus button over there, it says add a conversion action manually. So we're going to go in here now and right over here, you are going to select your goal and action optimization. So you're going to select your category here. Again, we're going to go ahead and look for um, something that says sign up or book appointment. That seems appropriate for an example and then you have a conversion name so i always like to use the google tag manager tag first and then you can just do um whatever it is you want to name your conversion i'm going to just name it test one for example purposes you go now down to your value and you can see over here you can measure the impact of your advertising by giving conversions an actual value. So you can use different values for each of the conversions or you can not use a value for the conversion actions which is not really recommended because you'd like to see the value. We're going to use the same value for each conversion and you can just choose your currency and then you can put in an amount over there. Just for example sake I'm going to leave it as is. You can now have a look over here to select how many conversions to count per click or interaction and you want to know that you want to select the every so this basically means it's recommended for purchases because every purchase is valuable and I want to also use it for every because every time somebody clicks on the book an appointment now that is valuable to me so we're going to leave that exactly as is you're going to go down and you're going to tap on done. Once you're done here, you can add an additional conversion action so you can have multiple over here and you can set them up all at once. We're going to go now and we're going to tap on save and continue and we'll move on to the next step, which is getting the instructions and finishing the setup. You will now land up on this page over here and because we're using Google Tag Manager at the top of this page you will see that there are three options. We're going to go ahead and tap on use Google Tag Manager. So over here you will see you have a conversion ID as well as a number over here. So this will be used at a later stage. Our next step involves going to the Google Tag Manager website and this is tagmanager.google.com and if you've signed up for an account this is what your homepage will look like. This is an overview and now we're going to go over to the left hand side on the toolbar and you're going to tap on tags. So once you've tapped on tags you will be able to now create a new tag and as you can see on the top right hand side there is a button that says new and we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap on the tag configuration. Now once you've tapped on that you have the 
options to either connect it to Google Analytics, ads, floodlight, Google Tag, conversion linker, and so forth. We're going to go, of course, and go to Google Ads. And over here, you will select your appropriate tag option. So you can see over here, there's ads, conversion tracking, there's ads remarking. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Google Ads conversion tracking. So once you've tapped on that, you will see now that it'll ask you for a conversion ID. And this is where you go back into your Google Ads account. And you can see over here, there's a conversion ID. So you are going to double tap on that and use Control C. You're going to copy it and you're going to paste it right over here by using Control V. The conversion label over here, we're going to go ahead and this number and letter sequence over here, we're going to copy that. We're going to go over and we're going to paste it in over there. So we are now done here. There are a few more options, but for now we're going to leave them as is. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to tap on save. Now, once you tapped on save, you can add a trigger as well. And we are going to go ahead and tap on add trigger. Here you will choose your trigger. And this is basically where you want your fire to come from. And you're going to go ahead and you can choose from over here. What else you can do here is up at the top right hand side of the screen there is a plus button you can add a new trigger over here for now I'm just gonna go ahead and the initialization on all pages you can see now that your tag configuration is started to be set up your trigger is here as well you can go ahead and change that just by using the pen or pencil icon on the top right hand side of those tabs and when you're done you're gonna tap on save on the top right hand side and it says you must name your tag before creating so we're going to go ahead and say google ad conversion tracking and we're going to just name it number one and we're going to tap on save right over there and you can see now if you go under tags in your google tag manager you have your google ads conversion tracking one i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop us a like don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content and we will see you in another awesome video <laughs> cheers for now